A tropical fungus that causes lung infections in both people and animals is here in Oregon. It's killing more than a quarter of the people who get it. News Channel 8's Wayne Haverly joins us with the latest information from researchers. Wayne? Well, Tracy, about 10 years ago, a similar fungal infection uh, had a big impact in Vancouver, B.C. There were about 100 people that were infected by this, but it was not nearly as strong as what we're talking about now. This is a new strain of that same fungal disease. It's called Cryptococcus gadii. Researchers at Duke University have been analyzing 21 cases of the disease over the past couple of years, all from the Northwest. Six of the patients died. The fungal disease has also attacked animals in the Northwest, including dogs, cats, even dolphins. The Centers for Disease Control is now sending out bulletins to Northwest healthcare professionals asking them to watch for lung infections that don't respond to antibiotics. Yeah, we haven't thought to test for it before because we're so comfortable with the old type of cryptococcus pneumonia. But the new type, which goes variantly, does need to be tested, and that's where we want providers to be aware of it because this pneumonia can progress to meningitis unless treated early. Now, C. gatii is found in soil and trees, but researchers still don't know how humans breathe this in. Experts say overall, though, the risk for this is extremely low, but as there are more cases increasing and there's a lot more interest in this, uh, things are going to change, and the concern is obviously going to continue to increase as these cases increase. There are